Good morning, my Sleeping Evie family. It is Friday. It is Crown Zenith release day. And I didn't take a shot of this at the Walmart, but here's a picture for you guys to see. I actually did find some Crown Zenith this morning at Walmart. I think they restocked yesterday. I did check yesterday. Didn't see any, but they must have restocked when I left, which is a bummer, but I did actually find one Reggie Drago V-Box. Now we will be opening more in this video, don't worry. But this is what I found this morning and we're gonna open it right now. And I'll continue this video later on in the afternoon when I found some more. So let's go ahead and open this because I'm super excited. I wanna open these packs and I cannot wait until <laughs> later. I've been on night shift for the past couple days, which is why I'm doing this video in two parts a little bit. Here is that code card for you guys. There, I think you can see a little bit better now. <laughs> we'll just leave the promos in there. So I've been on night shift for the past couple days and it will be tonight as well. But it's okay. That's why this is gonna be in two parts. Just unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. All right, let's open up our first pack. Ooh, I'm so, so, so excited. <laughs> okay. I've seen people open this early all week, and I've been so, so jealous. All right. Whew. And we're already skipping cards. Laron, Friends and Sinnoh. This is, that rock rough is adorable, by the way. I know you guys have seen a lot of these cards. Pancham into a Dragalgi. All right. Next pack. Oops. These packs do not want to open. That makes it kind of early, so. All right, here's the next one. Two, three, four. Whew, I'm hoping to get something good. Anything, honestly. Let's see. There's that rock rough again. We got ball toy, meow, energy retrieval, energy search. Ooh, one of the energies. Okay, this one has texture. The textured energy. These aren't secret rares, but they are fantastic, I have to say. I really liked that we got the textured energies from the Star Universe. I was very excited. They have texture and then they got the Pokeballs on them. There, now you can see it. Pokeball right there and the psychic eye. Textured energy looks really, really cool. Super excited. There's also reverse hollow energy, so we have two sets of really cool energies this time. Okay, next pack. So I'm really excited for that. It's awesome to see different energies besides the ones that we see on the front of the cards. Let's see if we can pull an art rare. We have Larvesta, Tangela, Ball Toy. I think we have the same order. Ooh, there it is! The Reverse Hollow Energy into a John Mega. So, let's do the Master Set. We need both sets of energies. I wonder why we got two. We got Reverse Hollows and we got the Textured ones. So that is pretty cool. I was excited to see that. I like the different looks to energies, and I'm sure players do, because that way they can use either one of those in their decks to make it just stand out a little bit better. All right, this is the last pack out of this Reggie box. So we haven't had any big hits out of here, but we've had the textured energy and the reverse hollow energy. That gloom's pretty cool. Cute Larvesta, Whalmer, Pokeball, Corefish, Paris, yes, 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 yes. We got Paris Art Rare. Now this is one of the ones that make up a really big picture. Hopefully we can pull all these and I'll show them off in a really big picture. And is there anything behind here? Zamazenta Hollow, now that's really, really cool. This looks very, very picturesque from the game. So if you guys have seen the game, it's kind of unique. Zamazenta is in the forest, so that's really, really cool. Not too bad, not too, not pretty decent pulls. We got the 
these three pulls out of there and of course that Zamazenta. But out of four packs, not too bad. I really, really like the energy, so I'm not complaining. And uh, of course that Paris is super cute. But stay tuned. For you guys, it's going to be like seconds. For me, it's going to be quite a few hours. And it is the afternoon Sleeping Evie family. And we have Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Boxes. Now I was able to get two of these at $49.99 from GameStop. How was I able to do that? GameStop does price match now. It's not an official policy, I don't believe, but they do price match. And I did price match with Walmart, the sold by Walmart. You can also try Best Buy. Try price matching with either one of those and you should be able to get it for $49.99 like I did. I want to get this information out to as many people as possible because it's a bit ridiculous that GameStop is changed their price on the ATVs shortly before they released them. And they also increased their prices on all of the Crown Zenith products this week. They increased all of them, which I just don't really like. <laughs> they already get these at a wholesale for I'm sure much cheaper than $49.99 or any of the products that they get. So it's a bit greedy that GameStop is doing this. I, I love going to GameStop and there's a couple near me. So it's the place that I kind of go to. It's the one that I kind of lean on heavily for getting product at MSRP and it infuriates me that they're doing this now. So they do price match. Check with your local GameStop. See if they price match. I don't think all of them do. But so far, if you're in the Georgia area, they do price match. Okay, so let's open up all these goodies. Now we got something stuck in here already. Here are the sleeves, which I'm sure you guys have seen. The really, really cool Lucario sleeves. We're probably gonna use some of these at some point. <laughs> We got our packs here, and the dice don't look too bad. Let's see. I'm sure you've seen the deck dividers. There's one thing I want to show you, and I know you've probably seen this a lot as well. The Lucario promo. This is awesome. Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon, and I was thrilled that Lucario was on the box because I knew we were going to get a Lucario promo. So this is an awesome promo. I love it so much, and I'm glad I'm getting a few of them with these ETVs. And here's that code card. So I actually just put this Lucario right here. And we got the pull still from a little bit earlier in the video. <laughs> but we will get into this ETV, and maybe we will get some amazing pulls like the ones I have seen on Twitter. Everybody's been getting absolutely bonkers pulls from these ETVs. And we got a V-Star marker. So hopefully we can get something good too. That's a cute seal card. <laughs> I don't think I've seen all the cards in here. So we got Reverse House Zamazenta into a Tauros. I anticipate seeing Tauros a lot more in Scarlet Violet because we have three different Tauros in Scarlet and Violet. And of course, I would anticipate them putting Tauros, the regular one, in one of the sets as well. Some of them may be able to find the other two, the Fire and the Water one. But I will have to work on that. <laughs> Ultra Ball, which I think is a very playable card. We have Snow Rat, Digging Duo, into a Tapu Lele Hollow. That's really pretty. I want to say this is from VMAX Climax, but I don't think so. I think it's from V-Star Universe. A lot of these cards are reprinted, by the way, from pre uh, previous sets. So if you see some cards that look familiar, look from a different set that was just released earlier this year, it's probably because it is. <laughs> so we're going to see some V's, I think, as well, that are also kind of reprints of the exact same artwork. Okay, so we have Cherubi, Yongoose, 
There we go. Now we got both psychic energy. That's awesome. And a Luxray. We'll put it in this sleeve. I get a bunch of extra sleeves, so we'll put it in one of those. So probably going to try for a master set on this. I'm probably going to try it about the same way I have for celebrations. I'm going to trade for as many cards as possible. I'm going to try to hold off buying them. But I know the prices on these are already dropping on some of the rare pulls, so it may not be too bad to put this set together. But I love trading and I love pulling cards, so we will do our best. Switch, Pancham, and Mulga into, oh my goodness, look at that cute Snorlax. That is so adorable. I don't always collect the yarn cards, but I collect that card. <laughs> okay, halfway through and we've got, I think a hollow or two and that reverse hollow. There's gotta be something good in here. Whew. And Pokemon Center ETVs are also back up on the website if you guys want to get one. I usually get one for my sealed collection. Shinx Zacian into Lycanroc. That was kind of the other thing. If GameStop is charging $59.99 for these ETVs, I would much rather pay that extra $5 and just get the one off of Pokemon Center. You get more packs and more extras in it than just a regular ETV. So it, it clearly frustrates me that GameStop is doing this. Okay, let's go into Shinx, Wilmer, Meowth, Ball Toy. Ooh, cute Zero Aura. Into another Luxray. All right, we're down to four packs. I'm hoping a big hit is coming because we have not gotten anything but the Reverse Hollow Energy. So let us see if we get something good. We haven't even gotten a V pull yet from the main set. Okay. All right, we got another V Star marker. I think I'm using, I'm gonna use the V Star markers from now on to put into my binders to replace the. Ooh, the Ditto! Oh, this card is so funny. I love it so much. People thought it was a Numel, but it's absolutely Ditto. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> Oh man, giving us the ditto from Pokemon Go, I believe. I love this card. Into a Rotom V. There is the, that's what I'm talking about. The Rotom is a reprint. Okay, we got our nice ditto. We got our Rotom. I lost my train of thought of what I was gonna say. <laughs> I absolutely did. <laughs> oh. Okay, the V-Star markers. I'm actually going to use those instead of energies to put in spot of uh, the cards that I have pulled, but have like the top loaders. I think that looks a bit more uniform. Okay. So we got the Ditto. Not too bad, but I'm hoping to get one of those V or V-Stars. see. Seal. Ponard. <laughs> and another and another psychic energy. How about that? We got two textured psychic energies on our first opening. And we have the ditto. We have that Paris. It's super cute. I'm just waiting for one of those bigger V-Star cards to pop up. So let's see if we can get one of those. Of course, you know, the secret rare Pikachu. We're looking for that as well. All these cards don't seem too, too terrible to pull. So that's especially a reason why I'm up for training for a lot of them. Let's see, Wooloo. There we, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> the Mewtwo V-Star. I was like, yes, we got a pull. We got Mewtwo V-Star and a Nessa signature. Oh my gosh. I think this is the most popular one to try to pull out of the Galarian Gallery. I don't know if I called it Galarian Gallery, by the way. It is the Galarian Gallery. 
Mewtwo V-Star. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see real quick. Let me see, let me see. I think I have it over here. Oh no, I put it up. Oh man. I thought I had my Charizard card out. I did not anticipate to pull this. Okay, so in the next video, I will set this one to the side and I will show you guys the Charizard and the Mewtwo side by side because these are matching artworks. This is from the Mewtwo point of view and the other one is the Charizard point of view. This battle between Mewtwo and Charizard. This is an amazing card. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I pulled this. <laughs> uh, <whew. laughs> oh goodness. And we are putting that in a top loader for now. This might go in a card saver later. I will go back and look at it. And we are absolutely putting that front and center, putting it right on top of those energies. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we got this Nessa signature. So I love they put these signature cards in here. The only time we've seen these signature cards is in the milk cartons, the premium collection boxes. So we had it for Marnie. And I think Professor Juniper had a milk carton. Yeah, we opened that as well. But I don't know if she had signed cards. Marnie did. And I think I do have a Marnie card in my collection box that somebody sent me with a stack sale card. But I love the signature cards. Okay, this is the last pack. <laughs> Rare candy and Dragalgi. Okay. You know what? We're going to do it. We are going to crack into the second ETB because I'm hyped to get <laughs> some more pulls and that is amazing that we got that view too. I, I cannot believe that we just did. <laughs> of course, the top card I'm actually going for, while everybody might think it's the Evolutions, that is not my number one card. My top card is actually Entei, the Entei V. That Entei is super, super pretty. It is the first card that caught my eye when I was looking at these when V-Star Universe came out. I wanted to open V-Star Universe to try to find that Entei. But I waited until this set came out and it seems like it'll be easier to pull it in English than in Japanese, so. All right, let's get into my second ETB because oh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what we can pull out of this one. Oh man, that Mewtwo saved the box, I will say. It was looking kind of iffy. Lunatone into a Volcarona. I was, I, it was definitely looking kind of on the poor side, but that Mewtwo definitely elevated this box. <laughs> All right, that pack was very easy to open. Okay. And of course, Scarlet Violet Japanese set did come out today. I may try to find some at one of my local card shops that does sell Japanese cards. See if they have it. I doubt they have it today. The barrel, oh my gosh. An Absol, oh my goodness. Okay, the, that is a really cool double banger. That the barrel card, that is genius. To sit there and like cut in half to see inside to of the uh, of their living quarters. <laughs> oh man, that's a really cute card too. I love how we're pulling all of these yellow borders. A lot of people kind of get disappointed with just those, but they're so adorable, so cute. I do not mind. <laughs> And we got Absol, Absol being my second favorite Pokemon. And of course, I'm hoping we are going to pull that Absol card. That one is awesome. If we pull it, I will commentate on it. It's, it's very beautiful and very sad. <laughs> but let's see if we can pull it. Okay, Slazzle. We got Whalmer, Corfish, Oddish, Pangoru into a Waylord. Waylord. Okay, we're gonna move some of these bulk cards off to the side. And I'll be keeping them so I can put the binder together. It's a big task because it is a total of 230 cards. There is 70 cards in that Galarian Gallery and there are 160 
in the main set. So it is a big task for sure. Ooh, Shaman. <laughs> Crushing Hammer, which I know used to be a really good card in the, in the TCG. We got Potion, Hatterene V. I think Hatterene hadn't got a V card just yet, and it's actually one of the more popular Pokemon from from Sword and Shield. So it's kind of surprising Hatterene hadn't gotten a V or V Max card yet. Okay. Let's go for the next one. So hopefully you guys are having amazing pulls out of your ETVs. Mine is trying to give me some heart palpitations towards the very end. But <laughs> hey, we're getting the good pulls. We got Shinx, Larvesta, Dragalgi. I want to make sure I actually said that right. <laughs> All right. So far, we got a V card, which is, I think, our first V pull out of the main set. Nope, second. Forgot about the Rotom. Sorry, Rotom. <laughs> and we got that Barrel. So we're sitting on a couple of okay pulls. We have to get other ones, plenty other ones to pull. We got Snow Runt. Grant! Oh my gosh. I love full art trainers. And these full art trainers are so detailed. You can see, I think that's Rock Ruff. Looks like Rock Ruff. I could be wrong in the background. And the fossil from Gen 6. And I always butcher the name of it. Amora, I believe. We got a Galarian Preserver. Oh no, that is Tyrant. It looks like Ra Rock Ruff, but that's actually Tyrant with its mouth open. <laughs> makes sense. It actually makes sense. The two fossils from Gen 6. Okay. We got a couple more packs. And we will be done. Seems like these ETBs went by really quick. <laughs> okay. But I'm having so much fun. Ooh, a nice grappler card. And I think you can also price match the Reggie Drago and Reggie Lucky boxes. If you do that, price match it with Target or Walmart. I think Best Buy has them for an increased price too. Ooh, the Voltorb. Oh, that's so cute. So happy underneath the tree. And Zero Aura V Star. Ooh, I love Zero Aura. And the fact that I got another artwork, just regular artwork for the V Star, was really cool. So I do have those promo cards. That's super exciting. Okay, we're running out of room for pulls. We got three packs left, and we did pull a full art out of the Galarian Gallery, so if there's another one in here, that'll be a stacked ETB. Okay. I really like that Grant card. <laughs> I'm blown away by all the artwork that came out in V-Star Universe. We got Skrelp, Luxray, ooh, a Mewtwo. Finally getting a hollow Mewtwo. Felt like it wasn't done justice in Brilliant Stars. It got a non-hollow. And we didn't see a hollow foil of that pattern until the boo packs, the booster packs that came out during Halloween. So I'm glad we got a hollow Mewtwo now in the set as well. Okay. So I didn't ask this, but what are your guys' chase pulls in this set? What's your top card you're hoping to get? Let me know down in the comments below. And let me know what you guys plan to do. Are you going to get singles? Are you going to open up some packs and then get singles? Or are you going to just open packs? Let me know. Wooloo, Energy Search, into a Heliolisk. All right, so we are down to our last pack. And you guys know, give us some last pack magic. We got a new Eevee. <laughs> This new little chibi Eevee. Hopefully this Eevee has some luck. But if not, it's okay. We had some fantastic pulls. And I'm surely not disappointed. I'm actually more excited to open more packs of this set. 
And remember, these are just the first products that are dropping. Don't think that these are the only products dropping and the only time we're gonna open the set. No, we have products dropping all the way through May. We got Sunkern, Bidoof, Ponard, into an Oranguru. Nothing on that last pack, but man, did we actually get some heat. <laughs> we got that Mewtwo V-Star out of that first one, and we got that Grant out of that second one. So I think the ETVs should have at least one full art glaring gallery card, which is awesome, if that is true. Seems to be the plurates. Not saying you can't get more, but that's definitely for sure. We got a V out, I think, out of our first ETB of the Rotom that could have been out of the second one. And we got the Hatterene V and Zero Aura V Star. And a bunch of yellow borders that are all underneath all the cards. So <laughs> we got great pulls. This is a fantastic start, and I cannot wait to open more packs. So stay tuned for more. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.